Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about the best language these days and which one you should pick. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, which is the best language to pick these days for programming? And the short answer is it depends because it always depends and I pretty much have to walk you through a line of thought in order to be able to answer this. So let me explain. So the reason why it depends is because it always depends when you ask which is the best of something. And in practice it's impossible for me to answer this question without making a few things clear first and foremost. Now this is probably the most common question there is. In, I, it's at least top three. So like it's slightly behind how much money am I going to make from being a programmer. But the problem with answering this question is that I need to know what you want to do in order to answer the question because not all programming languages are made equal. Now I'm just going to assume here that the person asking this question is going to be someone who wants to learn the most common well, it's the most common case there is. And that's going to be a web developer who wants to be a professional, a professional web developer. That is the most common, it's, this is why most people answer, ask this question, I would argue. If you're looking for something else, that's a different video. But in order for you to become a professional web developer, well, the first thing that you should do is you should have a look at the job postings in your region. Now, if the job postings are stating that the vast majority of companies that in wherever you work are looking at people who are really good at, say, Ruby or Python or PHP or C Sharp or something like that, well, then that's probably the best bet for you because you have to be able to provide the services that people are asking for. And that is something that is maybe right here, right now, when I'm talking to you, you're not the greatest wisdom or insight that you've ever heard, but you would be surprised at how easy it is to get lost in all the tips and tricks and the also wise advice of other developers on the internet who will state to you that no you know what you should learn Haskell or you should learn Elixir no 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 you know what for Siri people who know what they're doing regardless of what they're doing they all use C all of this these pieces of advice is absolute bullcrap because at the end of the day unless you are in a region where people are gonna pay you to do web development in these languages, then all you've done is that you have learned a language that will not pay you pay the bills. It's great if you are learning for the sake of learning, but if you're learning in order to make a living, you have to understand that the industry favors certain languages and it does not matter that these languages are not the trendiest or the coolest or the most performant, oh, none of that matters. The only people who have the luxury of caring about these things are people who either work in a region or a company at the very least, where these, these languages are gonna pay the bills, or if they have the luxury of action, well, which is the case many times, where they have side projects and personal projects or open source contributions in one language and then they make the they make ends meet with another language. And these things usually get a little bit lost in translation when you're looking for this sort of advice. That's why I start by saying that the most important thing is go on the job postings and look it up because the internet will not give you an accurate answer. The most accurate answer is who's actually paying for developers at this point and what, what are they looking for. Now, with that aside, the most common ones, the universally will choices is going to be something like Java, C Sharp, PHP, things of this nature. That's usually the JavaScript, of course, as well, if you're going to do UI work, which also brings us to the second part of this answer. And that is, I need to know what are you going to focus on in, in your daily job? If you're going to be a, like a front-end developer, as an example, well, then 
JavaScript is going to be the best, best choice for you, then it's a very good investment for you to learn Node and JavaScript. As an example, it's going to be absolutely critical for you. If you're going to be a backend developer, well, then focusing on Java or C Sharp is probably going to be the best bets. Now, I'm mentioning PHP here as well because there's quite a lot of different job openings for PHP in certain parts of the world because it's still a very popular language. But for long term professional reasons, I would say that there are there are many considerations to make here. So with that said, uh, then say Java or C Sharp would be very good choices. Or if you're going to be a full stack developer, well, in a full stack developer role, well, you're supposed to be doing both. So then the answer is not going to be what one language it's about. It's about, oh, what backend language are you going to learn together with JavaScript? Because JavaScript is absolutely critical for front end work. So what I want you to take away from this is that the question, which language should you be learning these days? I don't care who has told you. Most likely, there's more than one blog article out there listing the top five languages or the things, so forth, blah, all this bullshit. You can throw it away. You can throw all these lists away today, immediately. Because if your desire is to work, your desire is to be paid to do programming, it does not matter what's the most popular thing on the internet or who, which article states that the top five languages are going to be Scala, Groovy, I don't know, Python or whatever. None of that matters because they are not going to pay you to learn these languages. The people who are going to pay you are on the job postings. So go and look that up in the region that you want to work in and get a feel for roughly what is the most popular things where you work and start there. Because that's at the very least the thing that's going to get you paid if that is your desire. If that's not your desire, then disregard everything I've said. Second thing is ask yourself, what part do I want to play in the development process? If you want to be a, a front end developer, well, then it's going to be all about JavaScript for you. If you want to be a back end developer, well, then PHP, C sharp, and Java are among the better choices. There are other choices, but these are very good choices universally. And if you're going to be a full stack developer, well, then you're going to have to do both. Pick a back end language and pick, a pick JavaScript and learn both of them because there's no way for you to get around that. Have a great day.